Greetings and welcome to our daily walk through the scripture for April the 21st. Your readings today found you in Joshua chapter 24, Luke chapter 21 verses 1 through 28, Psalm 89 verses 38 through 52, and Proverbs chapter 13. Now today when we look at Joshua, this is the last chapter in the book of Joshua, and Joshua has led a faithful life. It's been a life that has truly been faithful to God, and Joshua has done everything in his power to ensure that Israel is set up for success through God moving forward. Um, Well, there's a bit of foreshadowing in here because, uh, spoiler alert, Israel doesn't do the best job. And unfortunately, it doesn't take long for that to happen. Um, Now, the book of Joshua was, we're not really sure when it was written or who it was for sure written, written by, Uh, But we do know that the next book that's coming up, Judges, was written much later. So there could have been some purposeful foreshadowing here. But in Joshua chapter 24, Joshua gives some warning to the people of Israel. Remember, they have been thus far uh, working into the promised land. They have not fully conquered the promised land. They still have a number of... um, tribes to displace a number of of bands of of uh, of traveling uh, people nomadic people that they still have to conquer uh, but Joshua has put them well on their way and he has basically told them that if if you will stay faithful to God he will continue to remain faithful to you he will continue to make these things happen and continue to carry out his promises and the people of Israel, they say, hey, you know what? We agree. We think this is good. We're going to do this. And Joshua gives them a warning, though. And this is not the first time that the people of Israel have heard this warning. This is probably the the, the fourth or fifth time that the people of Israel have heard the warning, going all the way back into the times of Abraham, when God said, there's going to be a time when my people are going to forsake me. Uh, and so anyway, Chapter 24, verse 19, Joshua said to the people, if you're not able to serve the Lord, he's a holy God. He is a jealous God. Now, when we look at the word jealous, we think of it like us. Okay. Uh, When we get jealous, jealousy is not a good thing. Jealousy is not something that it it basically means that we look at something and, and it's very akin to envy and something that we want to have, or we're jealous that someone else has had success when we didn't. Well, when it talks about God being a jealous God, what it means is, is that God doesn't share. God's not going to share his glory with false gods, fake calves, with Asherah poles, and with with Baals, which by the way, B-A-A-L basically just means little God is what it means, okay? So when you see the Baals, you're going to see a lot of Baals in in the next coming days of books and things like that. Uh, that's, That's what they're talking about. He is a jealous God. He's not going to share you with these other religions. He will not forgive your rebellion and your sins. Verse 20, if you forsake the Lord and serve foreign gods. Okay, this right here, it it sounds benign. It sounds like, okay, you're you're leaving. No, no, no. This is akin to prostitution. Okay, when he says forsake and serve foreign gods, basically God is, is warning through Joshua to say, if you begin to sell yourselves to these other gods, if you begin to... Um, give everything to them that you're supposed to give to me, then he will turn and bring disaster on you and make an end of you after he has been good to you. Joshua is saying, listen, don't fall for the silliness, the lure of things that are less than God. Stay focused on God so that God can continue to pour out the blessings that he so greatly desires to give. Don't go halfway into this thing. Don't be half a disciple. And of course, the people say, no, we will serve the Lord. And Joshua says, your witness is against yourself that you've chosen to serve the Lord. And they say, yes, we are. Now, why is this little segment so important? Well, because the very next book, the book of Judges, shows the consequences of what happens when they choose to forsake God and serve foreign gods. Now we don't have the same kind of 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 judgment in the old that the Old Testament has, um, but the reality of it still stands that if we choose to serve other things besides God, if we choose to make other things more important than God, then God 
is not able to do the things that he wishes to do for us. There will be consequences that come about. These are things that we should pay attention to. Even though this stuff happened 1,500 years before Christ came, uh, before Christ was born, these are not these are not warnings that we shouldn't pay attention to. This You can't look at this and go, this isn't going to happen to us. It very much happens to us. And as we get into Judges starting tomorrow, this is something to very much pay attention to. Okay, that's it for today's discussion. We'll talk more tomorrow.